any PDF that will be posted on the web needs to be accessible by people with vision problems. It's easy to make accessible PDFs that can be read by screen reader technology. Essentially, you need to format the document correctly in Microsoft Word before you convert it to a PDF. The Word Accessibility Checker can't guess which words should be classified as headings or belong in bulleted lists. You have to consciously apply these steps to create a PDF that's accessible by all users. I'll walk you through 10 easy steps to format headings, the body, paragraphs, images, links, lists, tables, and columns. Then we'll check the work and convert it to a PDF. Step 1. Headings. Assign appropriate levels to all headings using styles. The title of the document should be assigned Heading Level 1. Subheads, or the next level down, should be assigned Heading 2. Continue to assign lower level subheads as Heading 3, Heading 4, etc. Step 2. Body. Use the normal text style for the body. Select all of the body text and click Normal in the Styles Gallery. Step 3. Paragraphs. Don't hit the Enter key twice to create line spaces between paragraphs. Instead, highlight the body text, go to Paragraph, Spacing, and then select a point size in the Before or After fields. Step 4. Images. Provide a short description or alt text for each image. Right-click the image and select Format Picture. Then select Alt Text, which is located at the bottom of the menu. Enter a brief description in the description field. Step 5. Links. Use link text that has meaning. For example, instead of click here or more, use instructions for making accessible PDFs. You can edit the link text by right-clicking, going to Edit Hyperlink, and then editing the text under the Text to Display field. Step 6. Lists. Use the Bullets or Numbering List function for all lists. Select this list, which was created by manually typing out numbers. Click Numbering and the list is automatically converted into a numbered list. Select the next list, which was created by copying and pasting a bullet-like character. Click Bullets, and the list is automatically converted into a bulleted list. Step 7. Tables. Use the Insert Table function to create tables. To create an accessible table, you must define the table's header row. You also need to add alt text, which is read out while the table is loading. To specify a table's alt text, you right-click on the little arrow here in the corner, choose Table Properties, Alt Text tab, and then enter the alt text in the description field. Step 8. Columns. Use the Columns function under Page Layout to create columns. If you want to use a two-column layout in this document, go to Page Layout, Columns, and then select the desired number of columns. I'm going to undo this change since that's not what I want. Now we're ready to check the document and then convert it to an accessible PDF. Step 9. Test the Word document for accessibility. Go to File, Info, Check for Issues, and Check Accessibility. Hmm. Looks like we still have a couple of accessibility issues. We didn't provide alt text for a couple of images, so let's correct that and check again. In case you need help, you'll notice that in the lower right hand corner there are instructions for how to fix the accessibility issues that have been identified. So again, for alt text of an image, you click on the image, right click, format picture, select alt text, and then type something in the description field. to do that as well for this last image. Right click, format picture, alt text, and entering something into the description field. 
I've corrected the alt text for all the images. And now the accessibility checker says that we've passed. Step 10. Now we're ready to convert the accessible Word document into an accessible tagged PDF. Go to Acrobat, Create PDFs. You'll have to save the file before continuing in case you haven't. So I'm going to save it and then save the PDF. And here is our accessible PDF. You can tell your PDF is accessible by opening the tags panel on the left and then expanding the little plus signs to check that the document has an H1, defined lists, images, and tables. Now we can post this accessible PDF on the web.